Steam Punk video. I don't know anything about steampunk. I never really got into it for some reason. I've kind of encountered it sometimes in video games and movies and from what I gather it's basically just goth but instead of the color black it's the colors brown and gold. Now is that racist to say? I don't know. A bunch of people who are steampunk are probably going to go in the comments and tell me it's racist. Is steampunk even a race? See I don't know. Why am I making a steampunk prompt if I don't know anything about it? Well one of the perks on my Patreon is that you can basically talk with me and come up for an idea of something to build and one of my latest Patreon supporters Trogdor comes in the night said teddy bear steampunk. So that's what we're doing. Let's go build it. I'm kidding. I already finished ages ago. It's just right here, but I'm going to go backwards in time. So I'm going to have a beard in a second. That's going to be confusing. Just go with it. Who cares? Just watch. This is that's me bear. And we're going to chop his head off. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so here's the mask so far. It's a bunch of weird different colors, I know. Obviously, I'm hoping you're smart enough to know I'm painting it. Now, what do all these cogs and tubes and pipes do? I don't know. Nothing. They're mostly there to make it look good. You may have heard the term Greeble. It's mostly used in relation to sci-fi spaceships. What it means basically is to take what could have been a plain looking shape and adding a bunch of complicated looking mechanical pieces to make that shape look a little bit more sci-fi and visually interesting. The Death Star is a good example if you imagine that as a spaceship. The whole surface is just absolutely covered in antennas and little electrical boxes and stuff like that. Greeble seems to be something that pops up a lot in steampunk images from what I I've seen anyway. There's always just a bunch of cogs and stuff like that but when you try and trace the cogs back to a point they don't actually connect up to stuff it's just they're just cogs. So I've got a bunch of cogs now let's paint this boy. I don't think I showed it on camera, but I did add a foam kind of skeleton inside because otherwise it was just way too floppy and didn't hold a good shape. That's all painted the same kind of gold to match this eyepiece. The hat, I had a white hat and I painted it brown. Only reason for that is because they didn't have any brown hats and I was in a hurry. I weathered it with a bunch of different browns and stuff. It looks okay. I think next time I would just go to a different store and get a brown hat. This is the skin of the teddy bear whose head I ripped off earlier. His little bow tie here, I'm gonna untie that and use that as the ribbon for the hat. Recycling. I'm also gonna add some detail to the bottom here, just add like a bunch of bolts and screws. I have a little chain.
So that is my Frankenstein steampunk teddy bear hat mask. I actually did some artwork of what the whole thing might look like. I imagine he has kind of a Baymax-esque personality. I came up with some ideas for what his story is, but I prefer if you told me what it is. Jump in the comments and give me some fan fiction about why this monstrosity of a thing exists. What's his story? Why did he get made? Anyway, I'll steampunk you later. Does that make sense?